testing audio, testing audio, low, low. Nobody was here yet, but no issues. So I should be able to see what you guys are writing. Not sure if I got the Streamlabs part working, but that'll be figured out later. Another time. All right, so this here I'm playing Chained Echoes. It's an indie JRPG. Um, it's been out for a few months now, and everyone in, in these JRPG groups I'm in on Facebook so have been talking about it. It's uh, supposedly like a love letter to like Chrono Trigger and other classic... Uh, Jeopardy. So, not made by a Japanese studio, but still very good from what I hear. So, we're playing a little bit. This is near the beginning of the game, so not spoiler heavy, really. aspects about this game is in the battle system is this overdrive system uh, you, you can see in the bar in the top left there there's three different sections you want to keep yourself in the green area and the abilities that you use determine where you go so you can see right now if I cast cleanse it'll take me out of there so I want to keep I want to cast something that'll keep me in the green area and if you hit the red area that's bad because then you start taking a lot more damage but when you're in the green area, you think you you take you deal more damage, you take less damage, and also all your all your special moves cost half as much, half as much TP. Um, so right now would be a good time to get poison shot because that would move you back a bit. And I can just probably go through the rest of this one. If I use power shot right now, that'll take me out. My mic's a little low. Okay, uh... Huh. It's already set to max on Newport and OBS. Maybe I can raise it on the thing itself. Is that any better? Turn game back. Right. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Let me set that back to where it was. Testing, testing, okay. Yeah, it looks like my voice is in the yellow, and desktop audio is like in the middle, around negative 30. If that's still too loud, let me know. Should be better now, though. Cool, cool. All right, thanks. All right, anyways, where was I? I was gonna focus back to the window. Um... Also, a key thing about the battle system in this game is you get your HP and TP back at the end of every battle. So, it's it's heavily focused on... The enemies are stronger than your typical JRPG. Like, they're not going to die in one hit. Even, like, the first enemies in the game don't die in one hit. Um, you have to... There's a lot, a lot more strategy focused. So, it's not just mashing A all the time. Um, and battles are longer, but there's also fewer of them. Or at least that's what it seems so far. That's just based on what I've uh, experienced so far. So you can see, battles ended, and uh, well, you can't really see that I got my HP back, but it's yeah, it's back. You'll see it at the beginning of the next battle. HP is fully restored and TP as well. I'm just kind of fight these guys again. Even though I got the key already, but uh, you know, just to show you guys a little bit of the gameplay here.
crit. All right. Build the oblivion beams, yes. <laughs> uh, so let's get myself an overdrive. So power shot will put me back, so I want to... This guy's already poisoned, so I'll just poison the other guy. Can't heal yourself, that's illegal. Uh, now power shot will be good because that will put me back on the bar. Oh no, seven damage. Whatever will I do? Uh, other than using abilities, defending will also put you move you back a little bit on the overdrive bar. And I think there there are some other ways that haven't been explained yet. So. Still a few mechanics in the game that I haven't, haven't gotten to yet. Um, not too good there. Uh, S I'm not sure what SP is exactly. Uh, skill points, I guess. But uh, one thing I do know is that there's no really XP in this game. You gain... You gain a level every time you kill a boss, so I guess that's kind of the game's way of, like, an anti-grind mechanic. Um, so, whenever you whenever you beat a boss, you, you essentially gain a level, or all your characters gain a level, and that's, you use that level to assign a certain uh, stat points or gain abilities or other things. So, it's a little, a little bit different than other JRPGs, but also kind of, it, it's nice, because you can't just grind your way out of the problem, you know, you have to actually... We do be standing, not grinding. <laughs> Put these on. These are uniforms of the palace guards. Ha, huh, I haven't washed myself for three weeks, but it's the thought of wearing these uniforms that makes me feel really dirty. Spare me your sense of humor. We share a goal, but that doesn't make us friends. No need to tell me that. Anyway, Lady Parnella steadily approaches the city. Kill her while wearing these uniforms, and make sure that people see you. I will watch the show from the city walls, but excuse me if I will not applaud. My reputation, you understand. Well, carry your secret to the grave, as discussed. I know this man from somewhere. This is our opportunity. Stop, city guards. You are under arrest. Look at that. So far away from your city walls, and yet so cheeky, huh? The law of the strongest rules here. Get them. Ultra moves. Okay, so there's a new mechanic. During battle, the ultra move bar will slowly fill. Once full, one of your characters can perform an ultra move by pressing right trigger. Uh, the ultra move bar is automatically filled at the start of a boss battle. Okay. That's cool. Alright, you get to start with, with, with that. Okay. So is this boss battle? I guess it is. Okay. Well, let's see what I got here. Ultra move. Removes all negative ailments, raises resistance for all prime members, and removes all enemies' resistances. I'm not sure if I want to use that yet. So, hold on that. Um, let's get some poison action. Wait, yet again? Wait, there is something beneath. Ooh. Oh, so here's the real boss. Whoa, a sandworm. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna guess sandworm might be worth me to water. Let's see. Yes! Alright. Uh, let's... That's the same one. All right, let's do poison. 
Now I'm in overdrive, so let's try to stay there. So this is the other character's uh, ultra move. Deals high non-elemental damage to all enemies. Okay. Well, I will have her stick with water for now. I say that, I'm going to end up never using it, but uh, well, for now, I'll just stick with... I'll uh, just use a regular attack, because I don't want to go back to orange. Oh, shit, you... Alright, well, let's... I might be able to deal with that now with the other... Uh, water thrust. So the move that will move you back on the is the any move that's highlighted in yellow. You can also see the icon in the top left there. So that is the type of move that will move you back. Any other move will move you up. So if I do poison shot now, well actually first. I, just, I don't think this is gonna take care of that regen, but let's use it anyways. Of course, to just cast it back. All right. Uh, well, I can deal with that with some poison. Okay. Gonna need that. I would like to remove the regen again, but I gotta I gotta pay attention to where I am on the overdrive bar. So now, cut poison again. That would extend it a turn, probably. All right, whatever. Okay, so here I'm out of now. I'm out of TP. That sucks. Oh, Ultra Move is for all your characters. Okay, so it's not per character. Not like a limit break. Noted. Um. Fire spin is the most powerful fire. Is, is that a meme I'm not knowing? Is that a Chrono Trigger meme? Because I know that it's Fire Whirl, but that might, that is a moving Chrono Trigger. Accidentally knocked myself out of overdrive, but that's all right. Um, first, jerk. <clears throat> well, just poison it again. I'll at least offset it. And now I can cleanse it out of there. Shot will do. That's all. Now I'm out of TP. There as well. Hmm. How much HP has left? I don't get to see his life bar apparently. Other regular enemies, you can kind of see their life bar. You can like, you have a general idea of how much. This guy, I don't really seem to have any indication of that. All right, let's use some more sweets.
tell me that was the end of the battle. Of course. Why did he not die? I didn't even hit him last turn. That was weird. So the Grimoire Shard is what I meant by like, uh, that's, that's how you, that's like gaining a level. Rob! If you do not want to end up like your buddy, you better spit out what you are up to. Long live Farn Sport. Stop it, Rob. This is unnecessary. Their lives are unnecessary. Make it quick. I am not taking orders from the likes of you. Curses! Haha. <laughs> The way you treat prisoners, prisoners, one could mistake you for a nobleman. Tell me, what is your plan? We're going to put an end to this festival. This peace is not real. Everyone's waiting for the new war. A new war? These 150 years have produced a royal line of warlords. They have no idea how to deal with peace. It's all fake. All they long for is another war, and we're helping them to get it. You are planning an assassination. Peace cannot be your enemy. We yearn for peace, just like everyone. But this current state is nothing more than a breather at Escania's expense. Tarn is using the peace treaty to recover from the explosion a year ago. Our Chancellor is a fool and doesn't see it. We'll make the decision instead. The new war will bring true peace eventually, for everyone. At birth, every man is equal. Stop babbling. You are rest from the moment your mothers threw you into the world. Do not speak of equality. <laughs> and now, I'll, now tell me, or I will slit your throat. Who was that man before? How many of you are there? Long live foreign sport. Sp foreign sport. Long live Valinus. Rob. Probably better this way. If we leave this rat alive, it will bite the next opportunity it gets. I forbid you to kill a helpless person in my presence ever again. Do you understand? Yes, princess. We shall return and report to the commander. A lion of warlords. Does this apply to my brother as well? That's better. Seems like nothing has happened so far. I guess we foiled the plan. What if there are more of them? What if there is a plan B? I have a bad feeling about this. Let us report to the commander. He will know how to act. He's probably wondering where we are anyway. Oh, I'm getting spam already? My god. Three viewers and I'm getting spam. Thank you. I'm assuming Vicky, that was... I'm assuming you deleted that. Thank you. Something amiss? Are you sure, my lord? Is this parade not worthy as a stage for you? They had a wagon prepared just for you. My dear Heinlein, sometimes I prefer that way through the way through the orchestra pit. <laughs> That's a good spam. <laughs> but but it is quite loud here. I'll take the noise of the crowd over the whispers of the court any day. Forgive me. What does a simple servant like me know? What, about the problems of such a famous man like you. One does not need to be a powerful king or queen to be famous all around Eldrea. Sir Victor of Arcadia is living proof that a civilian can gain such prestige. As the author of stage plays and poems, he has written himself into the hearts of many. Having developed the first letterpress machine, he was able to distribute his works to every corner of the world and accumulate vast wealth. She, she, she. Now give me a break. People forget it sometimes, but I am not a nobleman. Let's cut the charades. Take me backstage and show me where the fun is. Very well, Sir Victor. <laughs> is the chat... Oh, the chat is showing. Okay, I guess the stream... Streamlabs is working. Good, good. I thought maybe because I hadn't touched this in so long, it would just, you know, 
got disconnected or something. Here we are. May I cordially invite you to participate in our variety of fun games. The games are played with so-called chips. Please take these 50 and try to accumulate as many as you can. Once you are done, you can exchange the chips for prizes in the north of this plaza. Have fun. This is more to my taste. Shh, shh, shh. That's a weird catchphrase. Alright, so it looks like I have control of Victor now. What can he do? Looks like I have some skills I can set. Uh, Valorman Wed. Why is it... I don't know why it's... It tells me what the ability does three times. Oh, wait, maybe there's like different... There's probably all oh, different levels to the ability, right? Okay. Okay, so right now... Okay. Raise TP regen, potency of five for five turns. Offensive buff. Okay. Magical earth attack, dealing... Have uh... okay. let's see. So, GS to play this game. I'm still trying to get used to this interface a little bit. Okay, so this looks like I have two. Grimoire Shards. GS is Grimoire Shard. In the top right, I can see I have two of them. So I get to pick two of these things. So these three are already picked. I could add a Magical Wind Attack. I already have an Earth Attack. I don't know if I... I mean, I might need a Wind Attack, but... For now... Hmm. Let's... Armor bonus, defense, out mind up. 30% chance to counter single target physical attack by curing a random ailment on self. That doesn't sound too good. I'd rather just cure my HP. I can hear my, key my keyboard through shots. My yeah, your keyboard's loud. <laughs> I can hear your keyboard through my noise canceling headphones. That's okay. It doesn't, it doesn't really bother me as long as I have the headphones on. I think the blue ones are the loudest ones. Uh, Alright, what do I want to do here? Um, I'm guessing mind is like healing power. Is, is there, I wonder if there's something that... Somewhere I can look that up what mind actually does, because it's like... I know it's different in every game. Um, mind is probably like... Well, anyway. Let's go in here. Let's learn skills. I'm going to take... Raises defense by 10%. So, let's take that. So that's cool. You actually get additional bonuses, too. When you, uh, so even if you pick something that has nothing to do with HP, you might get some HP anyways. So that's kind of cool. And I'll take the Mind Pulse, too. Because I feel like this guy's going to be a healer. Based on uh, some of his spells that he's got here. Uh, I would like to have that, but I'm done for now, so... Now, this is a passive skill, so I have to equip it. I think. No? Hmm. Oh. I have to go to the next page. How do I... There we go. Okay, it automatically equips. Defense up. Good. There it is. Do a quick save. Sorry that took so long. I'm still trying to figure out the ropes here. New game and all. Alright. How's it going, Sir Victor? You currently have 50 chips. 
Hope you have a lot of fun. If you run out of chips, pay me a visit. So what am I gonna do? Playing poker here or something? <clears throat> what do we got over here? Should be dancing. Treasure. Peace belt. What is that? You really used to upgrade equipment. All right. Probably crafting material of some kind. I'm so glad this war is over. It's great to have entertainment without any worries. I have a feeling the war is not over. Or at least it won't be over long. Playing games and having fun is, is in our blood as es es Eskanians. Let's go with that. Finally, we can live it up again. Can't decide which game should I try first. The champ of rock, paper, scissors follows his own strange rules. Have you noticed that he won't use the same sign twice in a row? I sometimes do. Statistically, most people start with scissors at rock, paper, scissors. Really? That was rock. That's why you should always play rock first. The thing is, I'm pretty sure the RPS champ over there knows this fact as well. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to be playing rock, paper, scissors. And I have to get the clues from these people. Alright. Here for a round of rock, paper, scissors. If you can win three times in a row, I'll give you a lot of chips. If you win on the first trial, add even more. Here's five chips. Since it's so cheap, there's a special rule in my favor. If we tie, I win. Got it. <laughs> so how about it? Um, let me read the rest of it. Are there any other tips here first? Look like a man with a huge appetite. How about a round of our game? If he has ten ships and every plate of dabbles that you eat, we'll reward you with one ship. This is a button mashing game. This is like the Millennial Fair. I can transcribe. Alright, let's see. We're gonna have to three, two, one, and go. You need to tell me how to play. Uh, press A rapidly. Bad at this. Okay, still going. How long is this for? Okay. Ugh. Well done. I knew you would be a devourer of dapples. Take these 18 chips. All right, I made a profit there. Cool. <sighs> Ama says that I'm a bottomless pit, but I still don't stand a chance against the amounts that are required in order to win here. Thank you for playing our games, good sir. Not done yet. Do you wish to stop and change your chips for rewards? No. When you're done, come back here anytime. Okay, yeah, yeah. I want to do the rock, paper, scissors. <clears throat> if you already tried your luck against the rock, paper, scissors champion, I've been watching him for a while. He'll never use paper right after using rock. All right, so. <sighs> I'm going to write down some of this stuff. <clears throat> so you won't use paper after using rock. For some reason, though, he also always tries to use each sign at least once per duel. Okay. What was the other one? He follows his own strange rules. He won't use the same sign twice. Which, okay, that... <clears throat> that makes sense with the other clue that I got. Um, most people start with scissors. This why. Okay. So don't... Play rock first. Anything over here. For Forty chips. I'll tell you how to win a turtle race. Always. You're far too shady. 
<laughs> yeah, let's, uh... I don't know about that one. Yeah, let's do a save in case I mess this up. Alright, Mr. Rock, Paper, Scissors. So don't pick rock first. And he also won't do paper after rock. So at least it's not timed, it looks like. Um, don't pick rock first. Let's try paper. Hey, all right. all right. Round two. So he picked rock first. Which means he's going to pick either scissors or paper now. He's going to pick scissors. So I pick rock. They see you. Yeah, they spell it with S E R for some reason. I noticed that. <laughs> I'm on the big screen. A oh, big screen. Oh, in spikes. Nice. Nice. All right. Um, can you look into the future? Can you see this as well? <laughs> Round four, four. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> um, what did I do? I started with paper, then I picked rock. Here we go. All right. I lose. Me, the great champion of RPS? And on the first try as well? Fine, take this and get lost. What did he, what did he even give me? What did he even say? Here for a round. If you win three times, I'm... Yeah, yeah, no, I... It's, <laughs> oh, it's you again. I'm not in the mood anymore. <laughs> nice. All right, so... Um, yeah, how much did he even give me? Let's see. Oh, we got like 50 chips for that. Cool. Um, no. I want to see what that other guy's all about. But I'm going to save first. I have a feeling it's a scam. What's this down here? I didn't see all this. Oh, there's other stuff. Oh, this is the turtle race. Okay. Treasure. Bamboo fiber. It's crafty material. Alright, so let's talk to this guy first because he apparently tells me how to win the turtle race every time. For 40 chips. I totally believe you. Alright, so hear me out. You can know that if you listen closely to a turtle, you can hear its voice. Once you listen to them, I'm sure you'll be able to discern the winner. Really, now. That's it? Tell me something new if I pay him again? Guessing no. I don't know. But let's see. Let's see what the, if I can talk to the turtles. Turtle. 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 Okay, so the top one. Let's see what this guy has to say first. Unlike Bravos and Taran, we were doing reasonably well during the war. Still, celebrations like this were rather rare. Welcome to the magnificent, tumultuous turtle touchdown. Bet on the turtle that will cross the finish line first. They might look the same, but their racing skills are actually very different. This is why I'm, sh why I'm shuffling their positions every race. I see. There is no way of knowing who will win next. The fee is 10 ships per game, and the winner gets 30. Are you willing to take the gamble? I was never more ready. So which turtle do you think will win? First line. Thank you. No more bets. The race is starting. Why is there metal music? <laughs> that was great. Finished! And I won. Turtle number one wins. Nice. Here are your winnings. Thank you for playing. Thanks, Turtles. Back to the starting line. I will now shuffle your positions. So I can just keep doing this over and over again, right? Just play another round, talk to me again. Okay. 
Alright, so let's do this again, but turn over three. Yes, okay, good. Oh, you're winning. So, yeah, it looks like I can just keep doing that. Alright, so then the next question is... How many of these coins do I really need? Uh, let's see what else is there to do right here. I think I did just about everything. Just walk around a bit more. Nope, that's not it. So down there is the turtle thing. That's the shady guy. Uh, that's the, that. And over there. All right. So let's see. I'm gonna save real quick and see what I can get for. My points. And then I'll just reload my save and get more points if I... If there's more stuff I want. See what the check out is. that fine with you? materials in the world, the or Oracalcum Dagger. 20 chips. So it looks like everything's about 20. There's 6 items. Let's just confirm everything's 20. That's 20, okay. That's 15. 20. 25. So I would need 120. I want to get everything. What is this again? Final elixir? That sounds good. Alright, so I'm going to reload. And let's get some more chips. So I have 103. Uh, let's just do another turtle thing. I want something to get suspicious, I wonder. So it's probably the second one now. Yeah, second one. Two wins. Where are your wings? Excellent. Okay. So I should have 120 now at least. But let's get some rewards. <clears throat> Lurking friend, still around though. Yes, feel free to lurk. Lurking lurkers are welcome.
Sir, if you would be so kind. Hmm, what do you mean? The cost for these items are 120 chips. You've already said that. You need 120 chips to exchange for these items. I've already given the chips to your colleague. Which colleague? The red-haired one at the entrance. I'm sorry, there's no one working here with red hair at the entrance. Also, you need to bring these chips to me. What do you want? Oh! Wow. Wow, I got fucking scammed, didn't I? Have I been cheated? Oh, I must be getting old. She, she, she. Well, that was easy. Like stealing money from a drunken polko. Part thief, part con artist, she has broken the hearts of many men and women. With her red hair and red clothes, she is infamously known as the Red Succubus, a title that does not make her job particularly easy at times. She can dye her hair and change her clothes, but a narcissistic, narcissistic part of her seems rather proud of this fame. I'll return in a few hours and exchange these darlings. As for the time being, I haven't visited this part of town yet. Let's see what we can find here. Alright, so... Yeah, let's get... You seem to switch characters a lot in this game. Interesting. So let's see what she's got. Uh, let's... Yoko Giri. Physical attack dealing 1.1 damage. Can trigger Petal Storm. Steals an item from target with 8% chance. Okay. Let's go here. I got two points to spend. damage. It needs to be activated by other skills. Interesting. Alright, so I definitely want that. Nice. X slash. <laughs> Anything else that might trigger uh it's ten to your health points. Uh just raise that good old back up a little bit. Good. Okay. What's going on here then? Most of the wares we import are luxury goods, such as wine or cigars. Basic food comes from our own crops. Because of the war, it can happen that we have more wine available than food. If you ask me, I think there are much worse fates. That would be stupid to return there right now. <laughs> if you want to try the best wines in Valandis, Valandis, if you want to just get drunk on cheap stuff, we can offer that as well. Right. This guy left his wallet on the counter. A good barkeeper behind the counter would keep the wallet safe for him before someone steals it from the front. Turning it using the. Let me see. I think he was facing the other direction before. This guy's pretty wasted. He left his wallet on the counter. If no one sees me, I could. Steal the wallet. God damn it, really? <laughs> Updated quest. What is that? <clears throat> How do I don't want to even see that. Oh, it's a. Uh... Look for things to steal. Okay. Living in a place as huge as this makes traveling a real pain. That's why we have this railway. Originally, it was very expensive and only the rich could afford it. But thanks to Chancellor Sigurd, the raids are all free now. In fact, it can get very crowded, though. That's why you don't see any nobles using them anymore. I think they prefer air carriers nowadays. Whole farm sport, the dancing city. You know why? They love to dance, sing, and drink. Even when we go through hard times, we always try to keep a smile on. That's how we are. There's a new shop on the main street. It's selling the hottest fashion from Miranda. Oh. Nice 
parallax there. Pretty cool. Hmm. I was born in foreign sport and have been living here for almost 80 years. Many things have changed during this time span. But you can only notice the small things when you look more closely. When looking at it from a distance, is a different story. This view, for example, hasn't changed a bit since I first took a look at it. The familiarity calms me down. This is quite nice. This guy is sleeping. I see a key hanging from his girdle. And there seems to be some money in his pockets. Hmm. Watching me, so wait. Hey, I'm coming here from Torment to visit the festivities. Could you recommend a good restaurant? Thank you. I'll go check it out immediately. Hell yeah. He's gone. Woohoo! I didn't count as two things, but I can break into his house now. that later. But that plate was vibrating. Hmm. You've got no business here. Leave. But, but. <laughs> yeah, totally didn't just see me do that. have here. Ooh, nice. It was totally worth it. This was tasty. I wish I had more of... Hey! What are you doing here? I got the goods. Time to Okay, so that was not the house to break into. What house is it? There we go. shiny or something, so. What do we got here? Someone's there. Seems to be asleep. 50 arc, is that all? Papa. Looks like she's got a fever. Her father better bring her to a doctor. I think I've got everything there is here. What a mess. Medical bills. Her illness must be pretty serious and costly. Oh yeah, here I am supposed to feel bad for stealing for her from her. Everyone has to find their own way to survive. I'm leaving. Aw. Fine, fine. You win poor sick child. Now I better leave here. Music full of people celebrating. Music plays through town. It's almost like the whole city is dancing. Alright, move on to the next area. So, where is the next area exactly? Uh, is that already? Up here? I shouldn't go back there. Hey, you! Woman with the red hair, come over here. Or where? Oh. So, it's you guys. Is this how you treat a lady? We've had enough of you. Until now, we have always handled you with kid gloves. Remember the Port of Vermeer? Ver 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 Vermeer? Sure. 
Uh, the tavern at the Red Lake, the marketplace of Gordia. How many times have you fooled us, Sienna? I am not fooling anyone. I'm just misunderstood. You've dragged our name through the mud. Mud! Mud! We have paid too many times, Sienna. It's time to cash in. Where is she? Where is the Himmel Skyzer? Give us your airship. I'm so sorry, my dears, but I can't. I've lost it. Lost your airship? And we're supposed to believe you? You can only lie. I bet on the wrong card in a gamble. Some merchant in Arcadia owns it now. Liar. We should kill her. He's right. If we continue to deal with her, we will only regret it in the end. Galfried. Like Garfield? <laughs> Let's kill her and we will at least get our own honor back, brothers. Private O'Malley, hello! No, we're not going to make it that easy for her. She must be useful for something. Bethesda. Like Bethesda? These names sound like other things. The Blue Dawn. You want to let her steal the gem? Don't be silly. Hmm, saves us a lot of trouble if she does it. Don't be so vague. Just spit it out. We'll make you a deal. Steal the Blue Dawn from the treasury of the Royal Palace. You want me to break into the palace? We'll use the festival to our advantage. Advantage! Advantage! I don't think it's a good idea, brother. We have nothing to lose. We wanted to use the hectic pace of today's festival to get to the stone, but... But then you realized it was still too far dangerous to, and called it off. And now you want me to go in there. I may be a fraud, but I'm not a burglar. Sure about that? Is that so? I thought the Red Succubus can take any sheep she wants. We prepared everything. We have a map of the sewage system and access to it. Uh, obligatory sewer level coming up. They say you're able to get anything you set your sights on. No obstacle is impassable for you. Your sudden charm comes unexpected. All right, since you've asked me so dearly, the Red Succubus will become a burglar just for this one instance. But the stinky sewers, is there no other way? Then become a rat for all I care. No more fooling around. You do what we tell you. If this settles my debts with you, I will do so gladly. No, no, the stone is valuable, but not enough to pay off all your debts to us. Let's put it this way. If you get us the stone, we will be a lot nicer to you. Stinky boy sewers. <laughs> Please do not put sore in the sewers. I can hardly wait. So what's the plan in detail? Master, the delivery was scheduled for tonight. Besides, I'm freezing. I can't go on. I'm exhausted. Stop whining. Not again. That felt different. That was no ordinary earthquake. Oh, are we an earthquake expert now, or what? If you want to deal with even more quakes, I can give you a slap. Then then you'll have something to analyze for your way home. Now come. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. What is it now? I've never seen foreign sports so lit up. So many people are enjoying this festival. Surprisingly, after such a long war, I would have expected differently. This is slowly getting on my nerves. Strange, are you still feeling cold? Now that you mention it, I don't think so. Hydutska. Oh please, a demon shall get me. If this is a normal earthquake. Ah! What is that? Scyther. A demon! Who's that Pokemon? It's headed for foreign sport. That's not good. Can you hear the music? The banquet has started. I should be dancing up there on the marble floors instead of traipsing down here in knee-high water. You want your stuff? You want you want us to stuff your mouth? No? Then shut up. Here, take this map. There is only one this one entrance, and this is the key for it. We will keep it up. We will keep it with us. So make sure to return right here once you have the gem. It's the only exit. Sneaking into Hyrule Castle. Yes! Don't get any funny ideas. Which is why we will close the gate after you are inside. Without us, you won't get out. Thank you very much for your trust. <laughs> now hurry up. Will we ever see her again? 
Probably not, but you never know. As they say, her success rate is rather high. Anyway, I'm closing the gate now. What? What? The key, where is... <laughs> no way, she stole it, but when? Miserable brat, shall we go after her? No, we just wait. This is the only exit anyway. Where's Lean Sewers? A little early for the sewer level, JRPG. They don't know me very well if they think that this sewer is the worst thing I've ever crawled through. Alright, pass through the sewers. Let's do a little save. Do a slot. Because I feel like it. And let's look around. So let's see, this Pebble Storm can only be triggered by another spell, so this has a chance of triggering Pebble Storm, but it doesn't say what that chance is. This I can steal an item. Yeah, let's try out steal. Let's see what this is. Nothing to steal. Alright. Nice. Pebble Storm is active, okay. Hey, all right. I was. I think I was right in picking that uh, spell. Oh, can't get there. What the hell is that thing in the water? Actually, I want to get to the other. I saw a treasure chest there or something. There it is. Tin ore. Orange crafting materials. Hello, who are you? A bat! Another bat. <clears throat> what did that... Why did it sparkle? I don't know. Okay. Knuckle Giddy! yet. I guess I'll figure that out later. I know it's a, I know it's a way of leveling up your skills. I'm just not sure how to do it. What is this? Something's coming. Boss already? Oh. Oh, it's the octopus from FF5. Kraken in the sewers? You must be hungry for something big. I hope you don't choke. Share at last! Hey, it's the guys from the prologue. You say that in a sewer. Anything's better than octopus innards. I don't want to interrupt you, but you are not off the menu yet. Ready the toothpick, Len? Yes! Or not. It escaped. I hope it won't return. Born in the walled city of Golgotha, when he was twelve, he was freed by the band of the Iron Bull, a group of mercenaries. Having nowhere to go, he joined the group and discovered his love for everything technical. With his talent, he became the mercenary's top sky armor pilot in no time. Since the incident a year ago, he has been trying to find clues about the mysterious stone that caused it. The incident a year ago is basically, that's, that's what the prologue is. Um, so if you buy this game, you'll uh, get to see what that's all about. It's also on Game Pass, by the way. So if you want to try this out, you have Game Pass... It's on there. Otherwise, it's 20 bucks on Steam. What the heck were you two doing inside this monster? Well, we were having a casual walk through the sewers when suddenly this Kraken appeared and swallowed us. 
second hand to the commander of the band of the Iron Bull. He joined the mercenaries not because of necessity, but more so with ambitious goals in mind. He wants the group to grow in fame and power so that one day it could stand next to the strongest armies of Eldrea. With it, he wishes to make the world a better place. A casual walk? What are you two up in this what are you two up to in this place? Probably the same as you, I guess. Me? Oh, so you are inspecting the load bearing of these walls. Hi, <laughs> so you're going to sneak in the palace, are you? The banquet is a good opportunity. Are you after the treasury? Who knows? These old walls certainly need to be inspected. We also want something from the palace, but nothing from the treasury. How about an alliance? Until we get through the sewers. What? You think that's wise? We don't know her. Exactly. Why should I trust you? Trust in the fact that we have kept you alive so far. There are two of us. Remember that. And you trust me? I trust you're smart enough not to mess with two mercenaries. Hmm. If a giant octopus greets us at the entrance, I do not want to know what's lurking deeper in the sewers. I agree to your suggestion. Excellent. My name is Killian, and this is... Now, now, I need your swords, not your names. Let us go, my dears. I'm keeping an eye on you. You were not the first man to say that. This will be fun. All right, so we continue sneaking into Hyrule Castle. New skills, right, because <clears throat> I can set skills from what I learned in the prologue. So let's see here, what can I do? <clears throat> so let's swing. That actually does. That's kind of nice. Attack up would pair well with that. Um, this guy is this guy is DPS, but he does have a healing as well. Save TP. Five percent chance to execute without paying TP. That is a very low chance. I'm not sure if that's even worth getting. Um, let's make him DPS. Boost your attack up. Very nice. We'll do that a little bit more. Okay. And then this guy. Glenn. That was killing him. This is Glenn. <clears throat> Flex oil. I don't know what that does. He restores 50 amount of TP. Really? Wait. Okay, so it costs 50. So you're, you're basically giving 50 TP to another. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. Uh, armor break. Let's see. HP up. Uh, versus HP by 10%. Uh, for him... This nice and there's the attack of the friends. So now all my GP is spent, GS or martial arts. Let's do a quick save. You can save anywhere in this game, by the way, which is very nice. Well, it took about 20 years for JRPGs to figure out that there's really no point to having set save points, <clears throat> it's just an aggravation. Though I guess in the NES and SNES era, maybe it was a memory concern. Who knows? Engage! Okay, so the, oh, these are the guys I saw creeping in the water. <clears throat> Do an arm. Sewer diver. Oh, that, oh, that attacks all. The default attack is very nice, okay. This also attacks multiple. So let's get that. Yeah, hey, just beat up on one person, why don't you? Well, let's do this again then. Kill that guy off. 
Really? 80% chance of fucking missing. Killer. I think uh, I think I've already done that. <laughs> oh, was that actually one of the uh, skills that I saw there? Crit up, human killer. Huh? <laughs> Anyone knows that? Yeah, I don't. I don't really usually go for for those types of uh, abilities because I don't know they just seem too, too conditional. But I'm sure I'm gonna get to a dungeon at some point where it's like all all human enemies, and suddenly we're gonna want that. There. I feel like I missed some areas, so we're gonna backtrack a little bit. I don't wanna. Yeah, there's something over here, I think. Yep. Magic overdrive, what does that do? <clears throat> if a magic skill type is required by the overdrive, this will trigger it. Okay, so I'm not. I don't know if I have anything relevant for that yet. Looks like you can cross through that. I gotta get used to like some of the graphics in this. Uh, look, this really looks like you can cross through that, but you really can't. Alright, so I think. Alright, yeah. So then let's go back then to where I was. Move pretty fast in this game, which is nice. And you can use the joystick on the directional or the D-pad. Uh, do I want to go there? I was... Yeah, I already did that. Let's see what's down here. What does this guy have? People here? What am I doing here? Well, how about I just don't ask any questions and you don't either. Instead, take a look at my wares. How much money do we even have? I have 500. I'm not even sure how to get money in this game. I don't think you get it from normal battles. Anyway, though. Okay, is there anything here I should buy? I got... I got ten. Probably should get a couple more of these. And then... Get a Sage. Those in all fields. And then... That'll do it. to heal yourselves. See, this only hits one. Better off just doing this. Done. Sturdy Akaton. What is that? first time seeing the uh, comparison system. So that's nice. I, I appreciate when they make it clear what a stat gain is. So a lot of games don't 
can't get that right. I want to give it to him. Who do I want to give it to? I want to give it to you. Interesting that the armor raises HP. Oh, just other stats. There's no turning back for a while if you continue. Lots of enemies here. Uh, don't need that. Let's just do this. But I also uh, want to try to figure out how to get some of those treasures that I saw. So just bear with me here while I. Actually, there was this here. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't explore this area. Where does this take me? Mm, that is a big no. Oh. what you can walk on no matter what you can. Only complain about this game so far. Okay, I think that was it then. <clears throat> Let's go back here. So this was the point of no return apparently. Do a little save arena. Dead end. According to my map, the exit should be at the end of this waterway. But how do we get there? The current is going in that direction. We could use the wooden plank down there. Oh dear, this is going to be fun. Why do I have a feeling that we're going to get attacked by that octopus? Kraken. Seems like it's working. Now, isn't this romantic? Oh, please stop. It's already hard enough not to vomit from all the smell. What is this? Looks like we have company. Cracking again? What's wrong with this thing? Did it wait for us to get into the water? Probably. Whatever it is, it's not going to leave us alone this time. Engage! Okay, boss time. Um, do a multiple targets. Fun. I can't turn the main body. Healing tentacle, physical tentacle, magical tentacle. Okay. I probably want to take out the healing one first. I wonder if it has anything to steal. Oh, is that? Oh, I think that's what it's telling me down there. I just realized this. So the X probably means I can't steal. I see. So this does have something to steal. Weak against wind, which of course is the one spell I didn't get. Right, um, no, that was for the other character, so. Alright, so let's do a steal here. Copper Nugget. I thought there was something. Okay, do armor break on the healing tentacle. Uh, White Swing should get all three. And we're at overdrive. Yokogiri. Nice. Let's do a heal so I go down on the bar, low drive bar. Swing. Yeah, that'll be 
pretty good. So I don't need to pilfer again. I'm good there. I'm gonna run out TP soon. Well, I'm in bullet drive, so that at least I'm spending half as much. Yeah, I got pedals thrown now. Do that next turn. I should take out the healing tentacle. Um, just for insurance, though. It's a little whack. I've been ignoring that mechanic. Alright, so let's do Petal Storm. Finish this guy. Okay, no more healing. See, he's the phone. Oh boy. Oh boy, they want to pissy boss go as he lose as he loses parts. Okay. Um So that's cool. The ultra moves actually lower you on the old drive bar. This was a to all the enemies that reduces attack, magic, defense, and mine. For me, you're the enemy. Probably the enemy. Um. Alright, that sounds good. Let's do that. Okay. Very nice. I need to. I'll have to get down further on the bar, but let's. Okay, here we go. So I, I don't really need to heal, but I do need to fix the overdrive bar, so let's do a heal you a little bit. This already heard my calamari like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> uh, cross slash. This guy's almost done, I think. I don't guess I don't have to fight the main body, it's just the tentacles, okay. Enjoy your calamari. That was intense. Now let's get out of here. Finally, the open sky. Where are we? According to the map, this is the southeastern courtyard. The treasure chamber is in the south. I guess this is where we part ways. I'm, I'm sorry I was so suspicious earlier. Well, it's a wise attitude to have. You shouldn't drop it. The fire? Oh, great. The rumors have come true. The townsfolk have actually started a riot. A riot against what? They don't want Ascania, Ascania's Chancellor to trust Taran. Rumor has it that Prince Frederick of Taran only, only instigated the priest, peace treaty in order to recover from the damage caused by the Grimoire. Once Taran has regained his strength, the war will, will continue. Grimoire? We should hurry. May the light of fate guide your path. I wish you the same. <laughs> Never go to Gunkaga's Idol Cafe ever again. <laughs> My hands won't stop shaking. All the ambulances are glowing. Has the time finally come, Master? Sir Victor! What a true joy to see you here. Everyone, please come and welcome our guest of honor. Sir Victor of Arcadia, the creative mind behind all of our favorite theater, theater plays. Now, we want to know at last, Sir Victor, what is the secret behind your stories? Are they based on true events? Have you experienced them yourself? My dear Rosamond, the lack of knowledge about this gives us gives the story extra flavor. Any answer to your question would only disappoint you in the end, so please allow me to give you no answer. 
Of course he made them up. Sir Victor has written dozens of stories and plays. How could he have experienced them all within a lifespan, my lady? But isn't Sir Victor an R? I did not know that. This is the first time I am meeting one. I'm not surprised. We are a very rare breed. Lady Rosamund. Besides, we look identical to humans. So how old are you, if you allow me the question? This is difficult to say, but when the University of Nisa was still standing here in the, the, the Landis, I was well alive and breathing. That was 500 years ago. For heaven's sake, you have experienced the legendary city of Nisa in its golden age? He even studied there. My goodness, then you're able to wield magic? My magic is a bit rusty, but yes. I was born in a time when the magical potential of all races was much further developed. How exciting! When the princess here is not the only one who is able to wield magic. Oh, forgive my foolish mouth. Your situation is different, of course. Sir Victor! Please excuse me, Sir Victor. You're needed. Understood, my good Heinlein. Princess, ladies and gentlemen, please excuse me. Was that all right? Perfect, Tylen. A little break is exactly what I need now. As discussed by your hand signal, you were literally bombarded with questions. True, although I prefer being the listener. If you allow me to remark, I could not do all this. I imagine these diplomatic tasks must be exhausting. You get used to it. Such events only serve the purpose to present oneself to make a good impression. Don't try to argue and just repeat what they say and all is well. That's easy for you to say. She, she, she. Shall I, show, shall I show you how to behave in such circles? I am most curious, Sir Victor. <clears throat> Let's take a look. I got some new skills to learn. All right. Uh, I got one, one GS. So let's put this... Where do we put this? Hmm. Mind up. Let's make sure that's equipped. Yep. No reason it wouldn't be, but you know. Oh, so, oh, the level up button is in the... I just noticed that. Okay. So if I press Y... Okay, I need... I guess I don't have enough. Okay, oh, I'll figure that out later. What's going on here? Banquet. Lots of food. Everything is going according to plan. Good, very good. Nothing must go wrong. Dot, dot, dot. Lord Sigurd is pretty nervous, but that's to be expected. After such a long war, peace can have, be a very fragile thing. I could not imagine the repercussions if something bad would happen here at the banquet. Oh boy. I, it could mean a new war. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> I was thinking about the church. People everywhere on Eldrea find this new monotheistic faith great. It promises a modern attitude to life and advertises various, ga various gadgets that are supposed to make life better. But to be honest, this church reminds me more of a business than a religious community. I'll stick with the old gods. That's Sir Raphael over there. As a high inquisitor, he is never allowed to take his helmet off in public. Is he, uh, he's the uh, Mandalorian? I wonder how he's going to eat all this food. The north is Terran and his capital Tormund. Years ago, the king fell seriously ill, and since then, the young Prince Frederick has been ruling. In the northeast lies Gravos. The capital of Warrenshire is ruled by Lady Parnelia. But since the, the annexation a year ago, she is now nothing more than a puppet of Terran. And here we, in the south, are in Farsport, the capital of Escania. Princess Amalia is too young to rule, so Chancellor Sigurd takes all over all, the, all over her responsibilities. Of exposition. Oh, Sir Victor, I'm delighted. I can hardly wait to inaugurate the new cathedral. It's an honor to welcome you and so many other distinguished guests.
Princess has never left foreign sport. You can see it in her face how excited she is to see so many new people. Nice to have you here, Sir Victor. I am proud that so many have accepted you. That I am proud that so many have accepted my invitation today. There's only one person that I miss. Uh, probably should have paid more attention to. Uh, Anyway, I've been officially introduced you to a Royal, Royal Highness Princess Amalia. Good day, sir. Oh boy, here we go. Um, yes, I know she's... I know that's actually correct. My mother used to read me your story, Sir Victor. So thanks to you, I have at least one good, me one good memory of her. <clears throat> Come, Princess, there's someone else I would like you to meet. Ah, Sir Victor, there you are. Here is someone I would like to introduce you to. This here is Sir Raphael. Uh, he's a high inquisitor, of course. I gotta, I gotta reload and fix that. It's interesting to see how you conducted yourself around the guests of this banquet. I don't want to be disrespectful, but I think you did not make the best impression on people. Now then, I think the first course is being served. After that, the bishop will inaugurate the, cath the cathedral. Can I reload, please? Alright, the gem is supposed to be here somewhere. Bang, soldiers, what are they doing here? Time for a little summary of today's events. I've heard both you both were stationed in the residential area of Farnsport. Yes, sir. So, did anything suspicious happen? Only small incidents. My wallet was a wallet was stolen from the counter of a bar. We had a witness. Apparently, a woman clad in red was the culprit. There was also a man taking a nap on a bench. His belongings were stolen as well. Finally, a man reported that some money was stolen from his home while he was having dinner. He caught the thief, but she managed to escape. It was a person with red hair and red clothes. That's all, sir. I guess it's to be expected to have some thievery during such an event. You found eyewitnesses for almost all incidents. Well done, soldiers. I guess I can give you both some good rewards for this, this chest here. Now, go and get me, the thieves. Sir, yes, sir. Hmm, those incidents sounded familiar. Let's see what the reward the captain didn't give to his soldiers. Alright. I'm gonna reload. Sorry to bore you, but I, uh... Was it this one? Sewers for a sport pair. That was this one. Yeah. Just reading. I'm just reading over this now, so I'm gonna actually pay more attention. And... this stuff in real life. Expect me to do it in a video game?
She's the magic user, I know that. Try this again. Oh, it was, uh, that's good. I mean, once Princess Money comes of age, I plan to hand to her kingdom of peace, not water, bloodshed, and hunger. Speaking of the princess. I think I haven't officially introduced you to a woman on this the day, sir. So is there... I mean, I said that earlier. I don't know if that's the right thing to say. I mean, these all seem like right answers. Compliment her, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that one. That was tricky. Uh, what did I say earlier? Choices. I'm not sure if I said the right thing to the princess, but whatever. <clears throat> There's someone else I need to introduce you to. Okay. Interesting to see how you conducted yourself. In almost every case, you knew the right thing to say. I guess it's giving me this for you. Okay. I had a feeling you'd get an item or something. That's why I didn't want to. And angel wings are expensive. At least at this point in the game. So it's good to have those, because they, they're like Phoenix Downs. All right. Let's skip through this, because I saw this all, I read this already. Alright, so let's see. Oh, I do have new skills to learn, but let's see what's what reward there is here. That's it, sweets? How do we, what's that other chest there? How do we get to that? Let's hack overdrive. I wonder if my actions earlier somehow affected the, uh, the reward. <laughs> oh. Angel Wing, nice. <clears throat> Alright, let's learn a skill. I got one, one, one skill to learn. She could use more HP, so let's go with that. So, alright, which way do I go now? Can I go this way? Probably not, because that's where they, yeah. <clears throat> that's where they went. Such a darling over to that gang of common thieves. 
Let's see what else this sewer key can open on my way back. Oh, I, damn it. I should have went to the other chamber. Damn it. There's the treasure. I can't believe he took, uh, took us off the case. We should have been the ones to search for further assassins. Instead, we were transferred here. The captain couldn't have known that a revolt would start at the East Gate. We simply lack the men, which is why we're here now. The real problem is that we are now too close to the banquet. What if someone recognizes you? No one expects the Princess of Tyrant to be here. One second. Excuse me. Sorry about that. It's hard to talk with uh, congestion. <clears throat> Uh, a handful of people who could recognize me would most likely assume there to be an incredible resemblance. Above all, people usually know me in other clothes, hairstyle, and... Princess? Rob? Sorry, I meant Len. <clears throat> that is not what I mean. Look over there. That is the man who talked to the robbers in the cave. But isn't that... I did not recognize him at first without his uniform and in the dark. That is General Matha... Mathy? Mathy of Terran? Yeah, sure. Matai. <clears throat> but that makes no sense. Why would he be in league with the bandits? I wonder if Prince Frederick is aware of his actions. My brother proposed the peace, peace treaty. Why would he plan an assassination that would cancel it? Who knows what's happening in Tormund? We've been away from home for so long. We have finally peace after 150 years. How can the general destroy my brother's efforts like this? Do we report to this, this to the commander? That can have huge, huge consequences. I need to get some fresh air first. All right, this will do you some good. Rob, you hear that? Nothing, nothing, and nothing. There should be some information here. Are you sure that you searched everything? Yes, if there were any documents on the grimoire, it would be here. It just doesn't make sense. Calm down. We are talking about a weapon that can destroy an entire region. Maybe the documents are better hidden. Sorry, it's just... Don't let it get to you, Glenn. Who we'll placed that stone in Wernshire? Tyrant, I would guess. It was protected by its soldiers. But you've seen what the stone does. Why would Prince Frederick sacrifice his own men? I was so sure that it must have been Ascania's doing, somehow. <clears throat> they are the only ones who that had something to gain from this catastrophe. But there is nothing here. Who knows what they intend to do with the grimoire and what further actions this stone wields. Maybe they never wanted to use it in this form. Maybe. If I hadn't come and smashed it. Do not start this again. You can't. Who are you and what are you doing here? Their weapons should be answer enough. This can't be good. Stay calm, Glenn. Let's get out of here. Not escape. This way. Then end. Well, there's a ladder. You don't even know where it leads to. Who cares now? Come. Oh, great lord, we thank you once again that with this war's end we can finally carry the true faiths of Volandis. This new church will offer the people a safe passage to a peaceful future. May the light of faith guide us into prosperity. Eruit. Now we can gladly return to the banquet. I have been told that the main course will be stuffed rolling pig ears. Watch where you step. The wooden bars are slippery. You cannot escape. Do you want to fall to your death? Up there. Land, look out. <laughs> oh, really? Who are you? Glenn. They are armed. Don't move. This is a disaster. You don't have to tell me that. Are you okay, princess? I'm fine. Who are you? Everyone, arrest them. 
Can I be Princess Celestia? Lower your weapons, I said. We are from the city guard. No need to point your weapons at us. Who is going to believe you in your civilian outfit? I didn't ask for your opinion, thief. Get the commander. He will... Last warning. Throw away your weapons. You must clarify this. No choice but to use force, then. What's this? Oh. Finally outside. I knew this pipe would lead me out of the sewers. <laughs> and everyone meets. I must have made a wrong turn. So, we meet again. We failed this mission horribly. Oh my god, how exciting! Sir Victor, is everything fine? The color has left your cheeks. This is impossible. This is... What are they doing here? Oh, my command! Wait, is she really the princess? If she really is the princess... Three, two, one... An earthquake? This is no ordinary earthquake. Something's coming. It's suddenly so warm. You call that warm? I'm burning. Up there! What is that? This thing I saw earlier. A demon! What is happening? Ah! Everyone escape immediately! Princess! Hey, leave her alone! Bad idea, Glenn. Your rampage ends here, demon. I shall be your opponent. Are you alright? Yes, thank you. You there, come now. Let's get out of here. Run, Glenn! I want to fight this guy. More monsters? Is that beast summoning them? We can probably deal with the little ones. Let's make haste and take this opportunity to escape this place. Don't think he will let you escape. We will let you escape. Run, everyone. That fire beast is following us. Each of your four characters in the active party can be linked to a reserve character, resulting in a so-called tag team. In order to link two characters, go into the formation menu and set the characters next to each other. These two characters now share a battle slot and can be switched out freely within battle. Interesting. In the battle, you can press RB to see the link character and then press uh, RB, right, right bumper, a second time to switch out. This does not cost an action. The new character can act immediately. Having every character in a tag team allows, a tag team allows for having up to eight characters take part in a single battle. Only characters that are not incapacitated can switch. Okay. Incapacitated characters block a slot. Uh, buff and debuffs. Duration is freeze while switched out. Okay. Switching a character has a lot of meaningful uses. It lowers the overdrive bar. Okay. <laughs> it gives access to more skills, which opens up more strategies. If your character is about to run out of HP or TP, they can be switched down and brought to safety. Occasionally, enemies will move a status effect called Stagger. Once inflicted, the Stagger character will be unable to act until they are switched out. Huh. So now everyone's together. Alright, let's see. Well, let's... I got some skills to learn. Uh... I think now's a good time to learn that human killer. Okay, I got two here to learn. And wind thrust, if you're going to need that. TP up. Okay, Killian.
was it shows you about 20% for three turns. It's buff that generates TP with every hit for five turns. Hmm. Just give him some more HP. Okay. What does this guy do again? So this guy has a quick attack. Which I, I didn't actually. He's got an earth attack. I don't think I actually fought with this guy earlier. Okay, um. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Well, that means for two turns. That is pretty cool. Let's give him that. Explosion trap. Okay. And attack up. Set uh, right formation. A whole new mechanic they just showed me. So, all right, so he has both of those. Cool thing. works out. Switch with your partner as often as possible. It will help us control our overdrive. And if the enemy staggers you, switch as well. I think I was staggered. I'm just trying to. Well, let's do this just for
she staggered. That's not what I wanted. Um, was it, what button was it to swap? Yeah, RB. Okay. That's 10 HP. Okay, who could use some... Who could use some HP? I wasn't actually... Where do I even see that? So let's see it here. Rob some HP. <laughs> There he is. Don't stop you fools, run. What's all this commotion outside? Anyway, you need anything? 
Yeah, I guess I could use a few things. Um, I don't have any money. I just don't know how to get money. Loot. So is loot all sellable? Yeah, I'm guessing it's probably three loot you see again. So we select all. Sell and quit. Okay. Good on that now. I have two of each of these items here. Yeah, let's get some more, a couple more of these. Okay, that's good for now. Do a quick save. Alright, four. How many stuff do I have? Fifteen. Nice. I don't need that many, but. Yeah, I'll probably use them anyway. Character's name still. Uh, that'll look that way. Oh, she's staggered too? Shit. Just the left side of the screen where it says <clears throat> it says their status. Um, okay. I have never seen such a beast before. Of all times, it had to appear during the peace celebration. Oh dear, this will only complicate Terran's relationship with Ascania. And how shall I explain all of it to Fr Prince Frederick? Yes, this story sounds utterly preposterous. Let's return to Tormund, Danan. There's something wrong, Sir Mat Mathi. Uh, as we should hurry. I can still hear the demon raging. Oh. General, what are you doing? 
You are right. This story sounds really inconceivable. How about we write a more credible one? With this sword in your blood. Terrence Chancellor Edgar killed by soldiers from Escania. Sounds much more believable. This will cause a new war. It's no one's fault that a demon attacked the palace, sir. You're, you're young. Naivety guides your tongue. The nobles of Alondis are are waiting for to find a new reason to continue this war. No matter what happened here, everyone will tell the story that suits them best. High Inquisitor, this peace treaty was signed by people who have been swinging their swords for far too long. They have forgotten how to use a pen and speak the truth. Or, they perhaps never learned it. Hatred rules Volandis, and that cannot be changed easily. coming up. It's quiet. Too quiet. Yep. Why else would there be a shop here? Do I, I don't think I need anything from this. Pretty good. This looks bad. Told you, it's dead end. Oh, shut up. What do we do now? Fight this thing. I guess we fight. Okay. Let's do the act. going. Um, I stole from him, so I can't steal again, yeah. Weak against water. Okay. That's what's out there. So, let's do a switcheroo and start getting some elemental damage going. Let's see, keep an eye on the. Well, I guess a heal was in order. Extending on the little break a bit. Okay, good. Let's rest. Uh, let's swap out. Yoko Giri is not really doing it that much. Um, yeah, let's do this. Gonna help. I'm gonna break the help.
Earth drops, huh? Okay. This but it'll help. Oh yeah, it's getting poisoned again. Mechanically, you can't always do what you want it to. You have to move, we have to work around that. Um, he's still poisoned, isn't he? Three more turns. Some power shot. Oh, yowch. Definitely gonna do that. Still not going down. What is this thing? Splendid. We have it cornered. <sighs> Ready another salvo. But, sir, there are civilians. We have no choice. Fire the cannons on my command. Fire! You have to get up, Glenn. Please. For what purpose? The best thing I can do is lie here in bed. And wait for what? Until there is no one left to take care of you? Almost a year has passed and you sit idly by while I travel around to see if what is left of the band of the Iron Bowl. That's easy for you to say. You are not to blame for this catastrophe. And neither are you. You obeyed your orders as a soldier. You do not know what the stone was capable of. You can't. I know that, Kylian. But in the end, it happened because I destroyed the stone. I swung my sword and thousands of people died. And then, while I crawled through the ruins, carrying your unconscious body, the corpses everywhere, the skin melted. The stench. <clears throat> I will never be able to imagine what happened back then. But the consequence cannot be you hiding here. Glenn, I know you too well. You're an idealist. Me, I do nothing. I have just been following you guys around. Then change it. Let these follow. Let us find this stone. Let's go back to Volandis. For the past few months, I have not only looked for, your, for the troop and for sources of income, but I have been doing research. The, source, the stone was a grimoire. A grimoire? Originally, this was the name for magic books. Every magician who thought something of himself published at least one grimoire in their life. And the richer a magician was, the more money they invested into the appearance of the book. Gems with magical properties, which were set into the book's cover, were very popular. With the fading of magic, the book slowly lost their significance, but the stones gained in value. Since they had no name in the common language, they were called grimoires as well. And one of them caused this explosion? Probably. Probably? The description about its appearance is pretty accurate, but the stone with such power is not described anywhere. You mentioned that the stone was undamaged after the explosion. 
Yes, it floated high above the ruins, in a whirlpool of ether. I saw it with my own eyes. And the grimoire still exists, it might be somewhere in the lines. In the wrong hands, it could all happen again. You asked for what purpose you should stand up. Stand up, and help me find this stone so that such an event will not happen again. We find the stone, we rebuild the gang. And then... Do you remember the original reason why we were here in the Band of the Iron Bull? We wanted to change the world. And for that, we needed power. The reputation of our gang grew steadily. The pay got better, our treasure chests filled up. The best blacksmiths forged our weapons, the finest instructors, instructors trained the young among us. We had enough gold for airships and sky armors. We could have used it all for, for our purpose, Glenn. And, and we still can. We will rise again. We will become more powerful than any army. Like Alfred and the Band of the White Dragon a hundred years ago, we will start revolutions and turn systems upside down. We will end the tyranny of kings and put the reins of power into the people's own hands. But I need you for that. Not only as a good fighter or outstanding sky armor pilot, I need you as someone whose heart beats in the right place. I need you as a friend, Glenn. What a sweet memory. But now it's time to wake up, Glenn. Huh? What is this voice inside my head? Who are you? Your friend, Comrade Mentor. Your friend, Comrade Mentor. Call me whatever you want. The beasts have picked up your tracks. It's time to listen to my advice. What do you mean? You'll find out soon enough. For now, you need to wake up. Are you awake? Where are we? It seems as though we are underground. The tower collapsed the moment we left it. If you have the strength, help me clear the way here. Where are the others? Apparently not here. What kind of monster was that? I do not know. For a moment, I had the feeling it was explicitly chasing us. For a moment, that thing chased us all over the palace. You must still be half asleep, thief. I am not a thief. You and your friend broke into the palace. We didn't want to steal anything. I'm sorry, that was rude. You saved my life back there, Mr. Rome. I shall believe you. And anyway, it doesn't matter. So, let us just call you a trespasser. How about Glenn? My name is Len. Glenn, are you there? Ah, there's someone on the other side. Next to Destiny, you are well. We have had quite some luck to survive this fall. Don't speak of luck so quick. We are not out of this mess yet. I smell miasma, and that little of it. The, the sewer system is old, older than foreign sport. Nowadays, only sewage flows through here, but back in olden times, these walls had another forgotten purpose. Evil built its nest in, these, in those days. We need every capable fighter to get out of here. Yeah, the sewers are a different kind. We've already learned this the hard way. Princess, you are well. Rob, are you okay? Why does he call you Princess? You are a princess? I've heard rumors that Terrence, uh, Princess vanished some time ago. She does not look particularly majestic. How dare you? Don't say any more. Or those will be your last words. Now let me find better ones. You have nothing to say to me, you little sop. Save your strength for the monsters that lurk here. S excuse me, Sir Victor, you're right. The welfare of the princess takes priority. I shall forgive you for the moment. You are too kind. This is no joke. She's really Terra's princess? Whoever she is, she can handle a weapon, and that alone counts. You should listen to the man and leave. The sewer system stinks. I wish your sense for decency was as pronounced as it was for the sewers. This old man is Sir Victor, the greatest writer of our time. And therefore, we should follow an experienced man like him. Together, we are able to take down this red-eyed beast. We were able to take down this red-eyed beast. And together, we will get through these sewers as well. Let's not dawdle any further. Let's go. Okay. That is a... This looks like a good point to save and end the stream for tonight. So if you're still around, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to play this game off off screen too. I'm, you know, It's not, not going to be an exclusively streaming game. So, um, like I mentioned, this, this game is called Chained Echoes. It is on Game Pass. So if you subscribe to that, Grab it there. Um, if you're not, if you don't have Game Pass, it's on Steam for 
I think it's 20 bucks, maybe 30. I think it's 20 though. Um, it was on, no, it's a new game, so it was not on sale. So you didn't miss a sale or anything, so don't worry about that. Um, yeah, this game came out a few months ago. It's it's already getting like rave reviews and lots of websites talking about it. It is essentially a love letter to Chrono Trigger and other JRPGs of uh, the Super Nintendo era. So I highly recommend it. It's been I've really been enjoying this so far. So uh, I'll, I'll probably stream this a couple more times. But like I said, it's not going to be. Uh, I'm going to be playing this offline too. So um, I might. I'll be you know next time I stream this. I'll be uh, a few hours ahead, probably. Anyway, have a good night. Thank you for watching.